Time's almost up. Bravo, report. No visual on the targets. I don't think they're coming, sir. Hmm. Stay on guard. <laughs> Guess they didn't trust us. Lucas, how many men did you bring with you? Four. The rest were needed at the Capitol. You don't say. Four pirates carrying prototypes. The mercs are sticking to their usual. I'm heading away from the jamming tower now. Did they see you? Excuse me! You look familiar. Have we met? Oh, man! You are fast! Off but minus points on originality. See what I mean? All right. You have me. So, where's the rest of the crew? They're not here. I came alone. Well, that is classic you, from what I've heard. But seeing as they weren't at the gas station, or the ship we so generously provided, I'm not sure I believe you. Well, I guess that's your problem. Actually, if you don't tell your friends to come out and surrender, you're gonna have a problem the size of a golf ball in the middle of your forehead. Funny. I was just about to tell you the same thing. Oh, hey, Wash. Heads up three, two, and... You continue to both surprise and disappoint me, Agent Washington. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Never in all my life have I met a human being as selfish and bloodthirsty as you, Miss Kimball. How dare you? Marching into the Capitol thinking you could kick us while we're down. Have you no decency? We tried to be decent in the past, but we all remember how that turned out, don't we? <laughs> my dear girl, I can assure you I haven't the slightest idea what you mean. Of course not. You're still too busy trying to uphold a government that doesn't even exist anymore. Because you've killed everyone who stood for it! It was a broken bureaucracy that nearly killed the planet! And you're a ruthless lot of anarchists who killed the only outsiders brave enough to try and save it! I would... Wait, the... What did you say? This might be a problem. Alright, guys. Come out and I promise to kill you quick. Waste my time, and you get to watch the freelancers die over the course of, uh... Well, until whenever I get bored. Mm. Spread out and find them. They might be hiding in one of the caves. Caboose! I didn't do it! Or maybe they'll just telegraph their position, because they're idiots. Shoot on sight. Tell me. When you murdered the Reds and Blues, was it because you couldn't stand the thought of them siding with us? Or were they merely caught up in the decimation of our outpost? What are you talking about? We didn't decimate anything! It came from in here. Right. Moving on three. You killed the Reds and Blues after they rescued their friends! We did no such thing! Two. You know, I just gotta ask. What did you think seven morons, a couple of freelancers, and an AI would actually be able to do here? One. But Felix said... What the? Well, not much. But you forgot to count the genius and the dog. The dog? Its signature detected. Did that gun just talk? Firing main cannon. Ah! What? Now! Attack! Open fire! Yes!
wasn't a race thing. Come back here! Get him! Ah! Take care of the simulation troopers. I have this under control. Right. Do not disappoint me again. Oh dear! I'm a leader, not a fighter! Get ready to cover me. I'm going after him. This ends today. Come on, guys. Let's not draw this out any longer than we have to. Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, no, you are not. Seriously? You're gonna go with the sword. Oh, okay. oh no, okay. All right. What's wrong? You scared? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Last mag wash, make it count. Why do you continue to help these people, Agent Washington? Where are you? You have nothing to gain from them. No reason to fight for them. And yet, here you stand with your life in line for them. Is that so hard to understand? You used to be so much more. Man, loosen up. You gotta get limber. How did you convince Kimball to go to the capital? Vanessa? Oh, pff, she was easy. I just made up some story about how you all died heroically. You should have seen it, man. I gave the performance of a lifetime. Got all broken up, threw in a few dramatic pauses, and they just ate it up. So how long have you and Locus been working together? I'm sorry, I thought we were going to be fighting here. <laughs> Round one, Felix. That's your tool. You were once an enemy to these men. You were ruthless. You were a survivor. I was a different person. No. You were a soldier. You say that like they're two different things. When a true soldier is told to kill, he kills. He does not question why. He does not mourn the fallen. He fulfills his role and moves on to the next. Is that what you want to be? A true soldier? No. That is what I am. I just really want to savor this, you know? Once the Feds and Rebels kill each other, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, we've been playing these guys for years. How do you just walk away from something like that? What happened to retirement? Oh, well, yeah, I'll be filthy, stinking rich. But I'm still in my prime. There's so much more I could do. Keep talking. Well, the thing about that is, uh... Oh, <laughs> you'd like that, wouldn't you? You know, I just realized I haven't seen your pals in a while. I wonder if they're trying to get the jump on me. Ah, he knows! Oh. Ah! No! <laughs> That's the last time you try to outsmart me, Captain Tucker. I'm a professional, Agent Washington. I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You complete your missions at all costs. You can say that as many times as you want, but I know what you really are. You're a coward. Ridiculous. 
You keep trying to play yourself off as some sort of weapon, that you don't care about anyone or anything. But the fact that you're trying so hard to understand me breaks your entire act. No matter how hard you may want to be, you're not a machine. You're a murderer. But you hide behind the idea in your head because you're too afraid to take responsibility for what you've done. Stop right there! You... D don't make me use this! You still don't get it, do you? The entire reason you Sim Troopers were allowed to live this long? <laughs> it's because you're all losers. Control was confident that you'd do more damage to these people than they could ever do to themselves. I mean, a bunch of idiots in charge of an army? C come on, it was a recipe for disaster. Locus and I figured we'd let you rack up the casualty count, then kill you after a few weeks. Oh, but then, you did something special. You gave these people hope. And with that came a new level of motivation. To fight harder. To die faster. All with the belief that their sacrifice might actually mean something. But you know what? It all means nothing. At the end of the day, if I'm stronger than you, and if I'm faster than you, then I can kill you. And that's better than anything money can buy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I'd rather be rich than a nut job. What do you think, Church? Yeah, this guy's got no idea what he's talking about. What the... What is this? Oh, this is Church. He's the AI that helps me run my equipment. What equipment? My helmet, Cam. Oh! Somebody just got busted. All right, boys! Bring it down! Be right back! Once the Feds and Rebels kill each other, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, we've been playing these guys for years. How did you convince Kimball to go to the Capitol? Vanessa? Oh, she was easy. I just made up some story about how you all died heroically. You should have seen it, man. I gave the performance of a lifetime. Got all broken up, threw in a few dramatic pauses, and they just ate it up. The entire reason you Sim Troopers were allowed to live this long? It's because you're all losers. Locus and I figured we'd let you rack up the casualty count, then kill you after a few weeks. Locus? You gave these people hope. And with that came a new level of motivation. This is bad. To die faster. Locus, everyone at the Capitol knows. What do we do? Follow protocol. Oh, dude, are you speechless? That's a first. Dead. I wouldn't if I were you. Uh, you know those sticky grenades kick like a mule. But I hear these newfangled laser blasters are quite lethal. The mission is a failure. Protocol states we are to report to control immediately. They are injured. We can kill them now. No. We follow orders. Let me assure you all. This is not over. This is Vanessa Kimball of the New Republic ordering an immediate ceasefire. All soldiers of the Federal Army stand out at once! Tucker, Griff, can anyone read me? What are your coordinates? Where are you? 